How can you change settings on the Korg Nanopad? What can you actually change? I would like to show you that today. Please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell. To edit the Nanopad and some other Korg devices, you use the editor. This is either included with your device or you can download it from the Korg website. I have to admit that I rarely keep the accessory CDs anymore, as you can easily find almost everything with a search engine. You type in Korg, Control Editor, and then you'll also find a link. The software is available for both Windows and Mac. That's already quite good. Unfortunately, there is currently no way to do this with an iPad or an Android tablet. When we start the editor after installation, a list of all compatible devices appears first. If a device is connected, it is immediately recognizable because the name of the device and the firmware version are displayed. For all others, it shows not connected. Below, you will find a box. When you click on it, only the devices you have connected will be displayed. Then we click OK and enter the main window. At the top, you can see an image of the currently used controller. Above that, we see four scenes and a button for the global settings, which we will start with now. Here we can first set the global MIDI channel. It is set to 15 for me, which is due to how I have distributed the MIDI channels in my overall setup. We can specify a velocity curve, namely light, medium or heavy, as the pads are velocity sensitive. If we don't need that, we can also enter a constant value. And like with any other MIDI device, it is possible to set the MIDI clock to internal, external or auto and especially when using the internal setting, to give it a tempo. I always have it set to auto because it Korg Nanopad automatically recognizes that the cone is our tempo giver or my tempo giver. Below, we can transfer data from the Nanopad to the editor using receive, or send data from the editor to the Nanopad using write, and also load or save corresponding data from the computer. This is very important. We close the window again using close. However, we now move from the common area to the area of the XY pad. This is the large area that you see next to the pad. It is gray on the nanopad too. Unlike the global setting, we can assign a separate MIDI channel to the controller or leave it on global. We can assign both the X and Y direction separately using a CC or a pitch. Then enter the CC number that we want to send appropriately. When we enter the pitch, the pitch range is changed by the number. We can change the polarity in both directions so to normal and reverse. We can enable or disable touch sensitivity, meaning it is no longer pressure sensitive, and we can also assign a separate CC value to it, as well as an on and off value, which I unfortunately miss in all other controllers and values. Through the touchpad, we can also play scales, which can be set separately. As with any controller, we can leave the MIDI channel on global or set a custom one. We can set the velocity limit, the note on limit, the velocity value from 0 to 127, logically. We can lock the y-axis so that we can only work on the x-axis and avoid doing anything strange with the y-axis. Alternatively, we can also leave them on and assign a controller to the y-axis. Here, one must be very sensitive. Again, there are reverse and gate speed options. On the next page, we can also set user scales. Up here, there are the four scenes mentioned earlier, and for each scene, I can independently assign a complete set of controllers. The first eight in the top row are the internal pads of a Korg device, while the lower eight I could assign, but I usually don't use them with the nanopad, because I can't set them up properly. Then we have the individual pads, which I can either select from the browser at the bottom left, or click directly on the pads. For each pad, I can choose a separate channel, which is actually very useful, for sending a control change or program change, respectively for each pad. I can set whether it should be momentary or toggle. Momentary means it only responds when I press it. Toggle means I press it, it is activated. I press it again, it is turned off. Then I can assign four notes underneath. The Kronos itself can of course handle more, but the pad itself can only take four notes internally. When I set it to CC, I can enter my controller numbers. There, here now 37. How meaningful that is, I don't really know, I don't know the number. Then I can enter program change numbers here if I want to. And, I have it. Then I can set whether I want to enable the up and whether I, which allows for the touch scale. However, I don't use that at all. I would go into it in more detail another time if I need it. In the bottom left of the browser, I also have the option to access the computer and retrieve saved data. Then, in the image of the nanopad above, we also see the six buttons that are also on the nanopad. The first is the hold button, which is used to maintain the position on the XY touchpad that I last used. The second is the gate up button, which I use to alternately turn the arpeggiator on and off. And when it is active, the button blinks at the current tempo. In addition, I have the touch scale button, which I can use to turn the touch scale mode of the touchpad on and off. In addition, I have the key range button, which allows me to set the key and note range together with a pad in touch scale mode. 
Then I have the Scale Tab button, where I can also select a scale with the help of the pad. And to set the Gator Pagetta, right next to it, I have the 10 button, with the four LEDs, where I can see which scene I am in. I can only operate this directly on the device and cannot assign it elsewhere. That's basically it. My conclusion is that it bothers me a bit that I can't choose a minimum and maximum value for all the control settings here. I simply miss that. These are the control options that I personally would like to have. That's why I also bought the Behringer X-Touch Mini. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like.